Hello and welcome to Curiosity Tube, your daily dose of information. Few places have transformed as rapidly as Dubai has in such a short period. Just a few decades ago, this emirate was a humble fishing village and today, it stands as one of the premier tourist destinations globally. The catalyst for this astonishing transformation was the discovery of oil reserves in 1966. Dubai, since then, has showcased its ability to create architectural marvels, including artificial islands and the iconic Burj Khalifa, inaugurated in 2010 and still holding the title of the world's tallest building at 828 meters. However, this rapid growth, coupled with insufficient planning and the unique geographical conditions of the region, poses potential catastrophic consequences for the near future. The video aims to explore the risks that could potentially wipe out the city and the measures being taken to address the issues threatening its future. Dubai has become one of the world's top tourist destinations, attracting around 16 million visitors and ranking fourth among the most visited cities globally. This influx of tourists is nearly five times the local population, estimated at 3,300,000 inhabitants. While Dubai's appeal lies in its natural beauty and significant government investments to diversify its economy beyond oil, the focus has predominantly been on visual transformations, neglecting crucial structural issues. A notable example of this oversight is the infamous queue of trucks used to remove sewage from the city, highlighting insufficient attention to essential infrastructure. Even today, Dubai relies on a truck system for sewage disposal, with the city's sewage system scheduled for completion only by 2025. Despite its achievements, Dubai faces environmental challenges. In 2008, it was labeled as having the worst ecological footprint per capita globally. It remains among the most polluting countries per capita, largely due to high energy needs in a city situated between the sea and the desert, with scorching temperatures often reaching 40 degrees Celsius. The city's extensive use of air conditioning, even at bus stops, contributes to energy consumption more than double that of Europe. The development has also taken a toll on the environment. The iconic artificial islands are experiencing erosion and sinking due to altered currents. The desert is encroaching on areas, damaging existing infrastructure. Between 2002 and 2018 Dubai lost 56% of its arable land, exacerbating the demand for food and natural resources. To address these challenges, the government initiated a tree planting project in 2010, aiming to plant 1 million trees. However, due to neglect and subsequent real estate developments, all the trees died. Moreover, the initiative increased the water demand, primarily obtained through energy-consuming desalination. Dubai began to adopt strategies used in other countries such as cloud seeding to create artificial rain. A lot of money has been invested in this process, mainly because the region has not mastered this technique and has to import labor from other countries experienced in this activity. Chinese cloud seeding, for example, can help Dubai to see its fertile areas. But the consequences of the intensive use of this technique are still unknown, and depending on the method used, it can cause even more damage to the environment in the long term. Other artificial rains can also provoke floods, as was recorded in Dubai itself, in 2019. These problems also occur in many other places in the world. Dubai has a great advantage, economic resources, money, wealth, and coming out of its pores thanks to its huge oil reserves. The Emirate has the possibility of investing in developing techniques and methods that in the future can be used elsewhere in other places, and benefit many countries. Despite these challenges, Dubai's economic resources and wealth derived from oil reserves provide the Emirate with the means to invest in developing techniques. One such technique, developed by a Norwegian startup called Door Sat Control, involves using liquid nanoclay to transform degraded soil into arable land. The methodology is still under development, with the challenge of making it more cost effective. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe, comment, and like for more interesting videos.